Hello all, welcome to the lecture series on power system protection. In this video I will be discussing what are the major causes of fault. Let us have a brief discussion for different reasons of fault. You can have a checklist on different causes of fault. We will have individual discussion. The first one is known as insulation failure. The importance of insulation. Current should pass only through the conductor. So it, pro, uh, it improves the handling capacity. Suppose if the breakdown strength of insulation is poor, definitely it may cause uh, the failure, insulation failure. If insulation failure occurs, definitely that creates the fault. That is one of the cause of fault. So better select the better quality of insulation. That is the main thing. And the breakdown strength also should be very much high. The aging, aging of the insulation, that is also one of the in reason for insulation failure. Next is conducting path failure, the breaking of conductor, so that may create another fault because it uh, prevents the continuity, it will distract the continuity. The lightning waves will be directly striking over the transmission line, definitely that will create major issues. So lightning is another cause of fault, it may create the over voltage, one of the reason for over voltage. Similarly switching surges, switching surges immediate opening and closure of the circuit breaker there are chances of production of switching surges that switching surges will be directly influencing the transmission system so that is another issue one of the another issue of switching formation of switching surges are the lightning itself so switching surges also will be reason for creating the fault then external conducting object falling on the over overhead lines suppose any conducting material that falls over the overhead lines that will create a line to line fault okay definitely that creates a line to line fault and that is also one of the reason for formulation of the fault if you talk about the coastal area the salt content will be more in the air if i talk about cement industry the dust particle in the industrial areas that is also creating major faults Another one is puncturing of insulation material. Puncturing is nothing but the dielectric breakdown of solid material, solid dielectric material that is known as puncturing. So puncturing will, will be reason for uh, creating the fault. Puncturing is in the sense the breaking of insulators that is solid type of insulator or solid type of dielectric material is known as puncturing. Puncturing will be definitely reason for fault. Then falling of trees over the transmission line. Look at this. You can able to see a tree that is falling over the transmission line. Of course, uh, it will create a lot of fault. For example, uh, it may create line to ground fault, then line to line fault, so many, uh, so many reasons, so many type of fault it is going to create. Presence of birds. Suppose look at this. The birds are sitting on a particular uh, transmission line. Definitely it will create a line to line fault. Okay. Then joint failure of overhead lines because uh, you can able to see different joints here look at this these joints if the joints are not proper there are different type of joints like a t joint so if the joint failed definitely that will create the breaking of conductors heavy wind is also going to create the pole is going to fall down because of heavy wind once the pole pole is going to fall means definitely the lines is also going to fall on the ground so these are the few examples let us continue unbalancing of lines especially it is applicable for three phase system the unbalancing of lines that will increase the temperature then uh, due to the aircraft vehicle it may have sometimes some uh, copters uh, that may reason for some kind of accidents snow loading especially in the polar regions okay sagging effect you must have heard uh, okay uh, the transmission lines are designed based on certain sagging level so definitely the, uh, the snow loading may be reason for breaking of transmission lines especially in the polar regions Thunder and storms definitely that will uh, cause falling of transmission line to the ground. Earthquake you can able to see is a disaster. Uh, in this type of disaster you can see lot of the entire transmission system will be curtailed. That is also another reason for falls. Aging of insulators. If the insulators are not proper, if the aging uh, lifespan regarding the lifespan, uh, you have to say there are different reasons for aging like in general discharge, treeing and tracking. Uh, you must have studied in high voltage engineering because of these uh, reasons that will create the fault moisture content during the rainy season especially rainy season uh, there, there are lot of chances for getting fault okay that will be creating due to moisture 
then mechanical injuries or mechanical damage uh, while fixing or any other external factors uh, the mechanical there are some accidents suppose automobiles are hitting on the pole the pole is going to fall down on the road that is also another reason for mechanical spoiling if the connections are not proper definitely that will create fault then defects in protective devices sometimes if the protective device fails that will create the fault if you are using poor quality of system components definitely that will be leading for severe injury don't no need to compromise for money regarding with respect to the safety safety is important don't compromise with the safety okay if you are using poor quality of um, some certain standards will be there like isi standard don't violate the standards if you are violating the standards it, it will be definitely a uh, reason for uh, creating the fault and in this session i have majorly discussed about what are the major reasons for uh, causing the fault so that means what are the major reason for the fault i have referred the following test books if you have if you are having any uh, issues in the explanation or the the description you can put up in the comment box if you need the ppt i am going to share provided your mail id definitely i am going to share with that now i am going to conclude in this session i discussed mainly almost uh, uh, 22 reasons for the causing of fault finally thank you very much for watching this video